In this section, we're going to look at the lowest common multiple of two separate numbers. And this is the smallest number that is in both the times tables of the two numbers. So the first thing you want to do is write down the times tables of the numbers that you're given. So for example, say you're having to find the lowest common multiple of three and four, you'd write down their times tables. So for three, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, and we can stop there for now. And the four times table, four, eight, 12, 16, 20. And of course that carries on. But we don't need to go any further because you can see we've already found a common number, which is 12. And that is the smallest common number in both. So that means that the lowest common multiple of three and four is 12. Now there is another method you can use, which involves using the prime factors of each number, which we've looked at in the previous section. And I'll talk you through that in a example exam question. Here's an example of a typical exam question you might get involving lowest common multiples. And I'm going to show you how to solve it using prime factors. So prime factors, we've already gone through how to find them using a factor tree. And that's in one of the earlier sections if you want to revise that first. So assuming we already know how to do that, I won't go through that now, but we can write the prime factors of these two numbers. And for 28, that can be written as two, times two times seven and eight can be written as two times two times two. So now what you want to do is write these prime factors in a Venn diagram, which is drawn below. So one side is gonna be all the factors of 28. The other side is all the factors of eight. And this section in the middle is where you put any factors that are common to both. So you can see they've both got a two times two. So we can put these in the middle. 28 also has a seven. So you can put that on the left hand side. And eight has got an extra two. So you can put that on the right hand side. So now what you do to find the lowest common multiple is you look at your diagram and you multiply together all of the numbers that are in each of the three sections. So we've got a seven, a two, another two, and another two. So to find our lowest common multiple, you do seven times two times two times two. And that will give us our lowest common multiple, which is 56.